I S U P K. Trust, right? Yeah, you. Yeah. You got a partner you trust? Right. Cool. Now this partner has his, he's been with you. Right? Been like he knows what you've been through. Right. You understand? He's suffered like you suffered. He's been through trauma just like you. He can relate to you. Right? But now what if this brother only came around for money? Would you rock with him then? Every time he comes around, he wants to talk to you about money. He gives you a, he gives you a nice story. Oh man, you know, hey, see you in a minute, whoop de whoop de whoop. But then all of a sudden, here comes money. And he needs the money. He needs money. He needs money. What would you think about him? He's trying to use me. He's trying to use you. Give him a hand. He's trying to use you. Exactly. He only come around when he wants money. That's it. Right? Now, this is a partner of yours. Right? But now, if you met a stranger in the street who wants to talk to you for a second, and then what? He brings up money. You don't want to rock with him. Why? Because you know he's trying to use you. Right? Guess who else, guess who else does that? The presidents. Right. The Congress, right. they do the same thing. They only come around ever so often. Every few years, they give right. you a song and dance, they give you a good story why they haven't been around, and then what? They ask you for money. Right. They do the same thing. Look at Kamala Harris. All of a sudden, now, now, now Kamala Harris wants to get black music. You, you, you understand? Brother, you got a woman, right? Does your woman carry a hot sauce in her purse? No. No! She doesn't! But all of a sudden, Kamala Harris walks around with hot sauce in her purse. No woman walks around with hot sauce in her purse. Right. You understand? No woman does that. No black woman does that. Right. But a woman who wants to get your vote, a woman who wants you to think that she can relate to you on all avenues, is going to do everything in their power to get your vote. And when they, here's something else. When they get your vote, they're really just getting your submission. They get in your obedience, because like we said earlier, right? Voting doesn't matter. Voting is not going to change the system. It doesn't do anything. Like we said, you can't vote for a cop to change his heart. You can't vote for gentrification to stop. You can't vote for the gas stations to not lift up the prices. You can't do any of that. You can't vote for the power, for the power lines right? to not up your bill. You can't even vote for the apartments to not raise the rent. Right. You can't do it. You can't vote for taxes not to raise up. Nothing changes. Nothing changes, you understand? Black votes don't matter. Right. But when it comes to black votes, the thing that they want is your obedience. Yes, right. They want your submission. You understand? They want you to follow their will. You understand? They want you to accept the bull that they're giving you. You understand? That's why after when they come into office, they don't give it, they don't say anything about black rights. All of a sudden now it's everybody's rights. Everybody's rights. You understand? What happened? What happened with, with, with under Biden? Right? A white man went on a killing spree for two days. Right? Am I right? No, for excuse me, for one day. And he went to several Asian massage parlors. And he killed seven people. Within two weeks. There was a hate. There was a hate bill for Asians. There was a hate bill. But now, Sonia Massey was killed. You understand? She was killed in her apartment. Other other people were killed in their apartments. You understand? Trayvon Martin and so many of Eric Garner, right? But now, what happened? Where is their crime bill? You're not going to get it because your vote doesn't matter. We want no